Hello and welcome to this pen review. Today we are taking a look at the Mont Blanc Rouge et Noir. This 136 mm long vintage inspired piston filler is the perfect companion for your average snake lover. This is the revival of a vintage design from Simplo. The snake, symbolic of rejuvenation and immortality, decorates both the clip and the nib. Actually, if you look carefully, you will see three snakes on the nib. The fact all these snakes are clearly from different species results from the designers of the pen not agreeing on which one to pick, and they were hoping no one would notice. For the record, I haven't said anything about it. I also haven't said anything about the originality of a vintage-inspired design with an animal on the clip and the nib. Although the Rouge et Noir is pretty heavy, slippery, and has a small ink reserve combined with no ink window. It is pretty charming and beautiful. It is thin and has jewelry-like qualities. The precious resin and lacquer are very smooth and shiny. The alloy of the clip even looks somewhat like sterling silver. The rouge et noir looks a bit like a vintage pen, especially if you don't take into account the clip. But it doesn't feel like one. Firstly, the pen doesn't leak, and the feed provides excellent ink flow. This is not always the case with vintage pens, but often enough to be noted. Secondly, the body of the pen being metal, it is pretty heavy. Would have it been made from resin, the pen would have felt more vintage. Finally, the nib feels as modern as they get. It is very smooth and glides over the paper. It is flexible, but doesn't provide much line variation. It is beautifully decorated and writes well without any problem. This particular one is the medium version. It is made from 14 karat gold and is also unremarkable in a way because although it is flawless and beautiful, it also has no distinguishing quality except for the aesthetic design. It lacks character or a certain je ne sais quoi to make the writing experience more memorable. Or maybe, just maybe, I have been spoiled with my taste for excellent nibs. Maybe the Parker 45, 75, 51, the Waterman Man Facet, the various Namiki pens have obscured my judgment. But still, the Rouge et Noir nib isn't as nice as the 149s. Or maybe, just maybe, I am biased because the color of the body doesn't match the cap and the piston knob of the pen, especially in bright lighting, just like a Parisian tourist on the Côte d'Azur. Or maybe, just maybe, I am biased, because the pen has nothing to do with Julien Sorel. That is why I have designed a scientific test, to know if you will like the pen. Do you, or one of your friends, have a snake fetish? When you watch a movie, are you secretly rooting for the villain? Do you own a pet snake? Are most of your belongings covered in snake motifs? Are you a snake yourself? If you answered yes to two or more of these questions, and are looking to acquire a newfoundland pen, then the Rouge et Noir is the one for you.